Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. And we're going to start things off here at 6 with two students shot outside Henry Ford High School on Detroit's west side. Police are searching for three men who fired more than a dozen shots reportedly while wearing ski masks. Mar McDonald live at the scene. So Mara, do we know how those students are doing? Kimberly, according to the chief, it's two boys. Each was shot twice. Both of them are in temporary serious condition and are expected to survive this. When you see all the shell casing markers, that is amazing. And to put this into some sort of context for you, right beyond that police tape, that's where the shooting was. Where I am standing right here, that's the entry to the school. Viewers capturing the aftermath of the shooting, one of the boys on the ground getting tended to. Those who live along this stretch of Evergreen heard the gunfire. Students were scattering when the shots started and ran to neighbors asking for help. I let one young man in so he could call his parents. He was shaking up really bad because it happened right in front of him. Um, the, I looked down and seen the great uh, car, which I believe it was the grandmother's car. They pulled him out of it and laid him on the ground and he was shot up pretty bad. The chief says two students were hit, a 16-year-old and the other the age is unknown right now. They're looking for three young men who likely were wearing ski masks who circled the school a couple of times. Neighbors think it was a white van or a white pickup truck. Chief says they think they're going to have video to put out soon, but they also have a very good idea who they're looking for. We also may have a name on the suspect, but it is a juvenile that we're looking for, so I cannot release the name. Uh, but we're going to relentlessly work this case, uh, working with them, and we're going to be uh, hopefully making an arrest pretty soon. No one else is at risk. Uh, no one at the school is at risk, uh, and we know who we're looking for. Back here live. So what was this whole thing all about? Because clearly these two were targeted. Students who scattered and ran to neighbors told neighbors that this all started because of some sort of a disagreement or what was viewed as disrespect in talking about someone who was a deceased relative. We're live on Detroit's West Side tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. Yeah, all right, Mara, now officers rushing to respond to that shooting at Henry Ford High School were involved in a crash nearby. Their patrol car badly damaged and a GMC Yukon, as you could see, was flipped over. This is Evergreen and West Outer Drive. We're told the officers did have their lights and sirens on when they T-boned the SUV. Two 16-year-olds and a 6-year-old were inside that vehicle. Everyone being treated right now, and it is expected that everyone is going to be okay.